Hi, I'm Gary Jenkins, and I thought I would take a, a, a little time to show you all another painting I did. And this is an owl painting. It's a 30 by 48, very large, and it's on a gallery wrap canvas with copper leaf around the side, which is about an inch and a quarter deep. And then I crept into the side of the painting just a little bit. I'll show you that in a little while. I'm just going to run the camera around, show you this new style I'm doing. I know it's a little different than uh, what I've been doing in the past with the more traditional flowers. Though as the years go by and I get older, <laughs> I started to, my background started to get a little more abstract. And then all of a sudden, uh, Boom, I, I went over the edge and I'm into more abstract stuff. So um, it's a really a kick to uh, work on this on the backgrounds because it's all color, shape, form. And then when you, and there's more time uh, goes into doing the backgrounds than into doing whatever bird I'm going to do. I'll show you an owl I did. But uh, I do a lot of egrets and uh, maybe some other birds, I don't know yet. Oh, I do ravens. On top of this wonderful abstract background, the paintings again, this one's a 30 by 48, it's a biggie, uh, but it, uh, I like working large, but I really love doing these abstract backgrounds, and I hope that maybe someday, uh, maybe I can have a class here in my studio where we all work on how to go about approaching this uh, abstract stuff. <laughs> I got an email one time from a woman. She said, well, you're painting, the, this new abstract stuff I'm doing, she says, well, your paintings are 90% just throwing paint on the background and 10% art, meaning the bird was the 10% art. So, uh, if you're watching out there, you might want to go hide someplace and uh, because your stupidity is showing and you might want to cover yourself up. <laughs> it, it's just a kick to do these backgrounds and uh, again, it's not for everybody, I know, but um, you have to uh, not stay doing the same thing over and over and over. There's so many painters out there. They, they're afraid to experiment. They're afraid to try different stuff. I guess it's because they might be afraid of criticism, which is something that we all carry around in the pit of our belly uh, of uh, being criticized or being, not being good enough or this or that. But it's a little voice and you just have to push it aside and go on anyway and experiment. Uh, I call it uh, venturing out into the unknown, which is what we're doing. Every background is different. We get to play with wonderful colors and shapes and movement. And it w makes a beautiful background for whatever subject we're going to put on top. So uh, let me uh, show you, uh, let's, uh, let you take a peek at this latest painting I did. And again, I don't know, maybe next year, uh, well, I'll put it up on my website that, hey, I'm putting a class together on how to do these wonderful backgrounds. Uh, they are a challenge. Painting is not a happy experience. <laughs> it's a mixture of being, liking what you do and being frustrated. It's that, it's that mix. And if you're happy all the time, you're not doing anything worthwhile, believe me. It's, it's a combination of uh, hard work and loving what you do, having a passion for what you're doing. But remember, it ain't going to work every time. You're going to have some battles that you lose and some that you win. But at the end, we win the war and uh, we, we go through it. It's a struggle and it's a challenge and that's the way I want it. If I sit down and I know exactly what I'm going to do, it'd be boring. But why do it? It's just stupid. <laughs> well, I could go on and on and on about stupidity out there, but I get in trouble when I do it, so I'm not going to.
Anyway, let's take a look at the painting. Okay, here we are. Let's take a peek and uh, roam around our painting. If you hear some noise in the background, it's raining, so it's uh, raining on my skylight up here and making some little noises in the background, so please forgive that. Okay, let's take a peek. This is the owl, and uh, let's go in and take a peek at the face. A lot of detail in the face. And as we travel around towards the back, less detail, because I wanted the face to be the main object that you look at. And look at the color right, whoop, right in there. I really punched it up. So it wasn't in the photograph. So as a painter, you put stuff in there to make it more dramatic. Look at the color down here. Now this is what this is all about. Let's get in real close. A lot of this is put in, or probably most of it, is put in with a knife. And I'll go in and put some orbs, those are the little circles that you see in there. There's a big one right there, little good. orbs all over the place. Orbs are a form of energy that's found, uh, especially here in Sedona. And I love putting those things in there. Look at it. And, and also we have drippies. I love the drippies coming in. Yeah, look at the turquoise. Yeah, look at that. Using a lot of the primary colors, uh, blues, oranges, reds, and all the way up here in the corner, we have copper leaf. Oh boy, look at that stuff. Copper leaf, way up here. And that copper leaf runs around the outside edge. It's put on with a glue that dries sticky. And then you, the leaf comes in little squares and you just put it on. This is real copper leaf. It's not fake stuff. Look at it. And it's put on with a brush. The, uh, the uh, glue is anyway. And then you lay the leaf on it. It's messy. Stuff flies all over, but that's part of the process. And Look at the texture. Can you see it? You see, every time somebody looks at one of these paintings with this kind of background, they see something different all the time. Way up. This one has a lot of orange, burnt orange, blues. I think, you know, no. Sometimes I put copper leaf inside. This one doesn't have any, except around the edges. It doesn't have any going, big splash of copper leaf inside, just around the edges. Anyway, you can see the fun part of it. Negative space. What is negative space? That's that white place right there. You see some negative space over here, that's that white. And the negative space gives the eye a chance to rest without any color. So you don't have stuff all over the place. There's more negative up here. So there's really in three different places. Oh yeah. So you can see, and as I mentioned before, possibly, I'm not sure, but maybe next year, I will put up on my website and have a class on how to do these backgrounds. I'll probably have maybe a four day workshop after the background goes in. I might spend at least two days on that background. It takes time. Then I'll have a pattern. Uh, we might do an egret or an owl. Since it's acrylic, it, and uh, with a hair dryer, it dries fast. We'll put our pattern on and put our bird in. Yes! Well, <laughs> what fun is that? We won't work this large, of course. But we will work a fairly large piece. Maybe, I don't know how many we would get done, but that's something that I have to work out. Anyway, guys. 
I'll be putting some other stuff up. I have another background. I'm going to turn the camera over. Way over there. This is a background you can see on the floor. Come in close. Another background I'm doing. This one is in all in cool tones. But as you come down, I zap it with this warm shot right in there. It's, it's sitting in the shadow, so it's not showing up as bright as it might. Anyway, there you are. I'll put some other stuff up here shortly when I get time to show you some other ventures into the unknown. <laughs> Take care out there and stay well. Bye-bye.